Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Father cares, May 27th, filled with His fullness. And to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Ephesians 3 verse 19 There are many who think that it is impossible to escape from the power of sin, but the promise is that we may be filled with all the fullness of God. We aim too low. The mark is much higher. Our minds need expansion that we may comprehend the significance of the provision of God. We ought to reflect the highest attributes of the character of God. We should be thankful that we are not to be left to ourselves. The law of God is the exalted standard to which we are to attain. We are not to walk according to our own ideas, but we are to follow in the footsteps of Christ. The work of overcoming is in our hands, but we are not to overcome in our own name or strength, for of ourselves we cannot keep the commandment of God. The Spirit of God must help our infirmities. Christ has become our sacrifice and surety. He has become sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in Him. Through faith in His name, He imputes unto us His righteousness and it becomes a living principle in our life. Christ imputes to us His sinless character and presents us to the Father in His own purity. We cannot provide a robe of righteousness for ourselves, for the prophet says, All our righteousnesses are as filthy rags. Isaiah 64 verse 6 There is nothing in us from which we can clothe the soul so that its nakedness shall not appear. We are to receive the robe of righteousness woven in the loom of heaven, even the spotless robe of Christ's righteousness. We are to say, He died for me, He bore my soul's disgrace, that in His name I might be an overcomer and be exalted to His throne. It is privilege of the children of God to be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto Him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Ephesians 3 verses 20 and 21 Our Father Kales, May 27th